What's happening everyone? Nick here from TV Box Stop with a brand new 1080p projector from the manufacturers of PixThink. This is the PixThink M1 and it's a native 1080p LED projector with mobile screen mirroring, digital focus and zoom, it's dustproof sealed, it's stylish and this is the exciting part, it comes with its own portable projector screen and carrying case. So in this review, we'll look at its design and all of the features it has to offer. And I'll do a live demonstration to test its picture and sound quality. And we'll take a look at its accessories. And who knows, this just might be the projector you have been waiting for. So stay tuned, you have that right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is PixThink, a new brand that's part of the Vivibrite group that has been known to produce some of the best high quality projectors and has been in the business for over 10 years. Today's projector, the M1, is one of their products that's built on their mantra of Pixels change the way you think, and products carrying their brand seek to break the limits of LED projection by delivering higher brightness and wider color gamut. So the next time you are in the market looking for a great projector, remember the name, PixThink, a brand that's going to change the way you think about projection quality. See the link to their Amazon page in the description below this video. And now, a quick unboxing. This projector has native 1080p LED projection. It has 6,500 lumens. It has a contrast ratio of 10,000 to 1. It has 30,000 hours of lamp life. It has an optimal viewing distance of 3.8 meters at 120 inches and a maximum viewing distance of 3.13 meters at 200 inches. It features a digital focus adjustment and zoom. It has wireless mobile screen mirroring and there is no horizontal or vertical keystone correction. So in the box, you have the M1 LED projector itself. You get one infrared remote control. You get a 19 volts, 4 amps DC power adapter. You get a 100 inch fast stretch projector screen and mounting accessories. A quick start guide. And a stylish carrying case. This projector has a very trendy stylish design. It's made of plastic and it has a carrying strap to easily move it from point A to point B. Also to the top just beneath the strap is where you'll find the power button. This projector has no manual button controls as everything is controlled using the included remote. To the front you have its multi-layered coated glass lens and an exhaust vent. To the rear it has one HDMI input port one USB 2.0 port, one 3.5mm audio port, an infrared sensor, an LED power light, the DC power input, the internal cooling fan, and its intake cooling vent. On both sides of the projector, you have internal speakers, so it's a dual speaker design. And below the projector, you have three anti-skid rubber feet a screw mount for mounting to a tripod or ceiling, and you have another intake cooling vent. So I'll just take a moment to set this up and continue. So I'm back and here I have it set up on a projector stand and a pull down a projector screen. This isn't the one included in the package, I'll show that to you in just a moment. So when you power on the projector, you will hear that familiar Vivibrite audio chime. Then you will see this splash screen, after which you will be presented with the home screen. So this is the home screen where it will detect and read any media that you connect to it via an external storage device such as a flash drive or external hard drive to its USB port. Once detected, it will appear on the left for selection and you simply navigate with the remote to access and play them.
Sorry, something. What do you know about Wakanda? It's a third world country. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. So its settings area is probably the most minimalistic and easy to navigate projector settings I've ever encountered. Under display, you simply press right to select and adjust its display color settings. Under audio is the same, you navigate right and make your audio adjustments. Under image is where you can make adjustments to the aspect ratio and projection direction. Under timer is where you can set sleep settings. Under other is where you'll find your language settings, factory reset and software information. To use the wireless screen mirroring function, it may look confusing on the screen, but it's actually quite simple. First, select the screen mirroring function. Then using your mobile device, scan for a Wi-Fi signal that the projector is sending out. Connect to it using numbers 1 to 8 as the password. Once you are connected to the projector's Wi-Fi signal, open any browser and enter the IP address that you see on the screen, or using a QR code scanner, scan the barcode on the screen. Once entered, you will then have access to the projector's Wi-Fi settings. Then using the menu, connect the projector to your home Wi-Fi network. Once that is done, disconnect from the projector's Wi-Fi and return your mobile phone to your home's Wi-Fi network. Then open the Play Store and install a DLNA Miracast app and initiate the screen mirroring process. This projector does not have any manual control buttons. However, it's the first projector I've reviewed that comes with a digital motorized focus adjustment. On the included remote, it comes with plus and minus focus buttons that adjust not only its focus but also its zoom function. So I will now connect it to an Android TV box and fine tune its color display for optimal quality and play some videos to demonstrate its display together with its sound quality.
only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico but the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points the mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Mateo Loff prizing presence on the bench as well Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in uh, their traditional red and blue Barca Alves in a bit of space, Adriano, Adriano shoots, it's a typical Adriano shot unable to really test Courtois but Coque with the ball Villa to his right Its picture quality is pretty decent and its sound quality is solid and doesn't sound as though the speakers are rattling like in other models. And to conclude, I managed to find a spot on my wall to spread the included 100 inches stretch projector screen. It can be mounted to your wall using the included hooks and the two sided sticky tape or you can use the included rope in the event you have to mount it between two poles or a frame. So the screen is a stretch type fabric and though it displays a good picture, it does somewhat reduce the true quality of the projector's display and I recommend that you use it in more outdoor settings. For the sharpest quality, use a solid premium matte type fabric. So in summary, there are three things about this projector that stands out for me and those are one the electronic focus adjustment is something all projector manufacturers should copy and implement as it really improves fine-tuning its focus two i almost forgot to mention that this projector's internal cooling fan is almost silent with very little noise it's the quietest projector i've ever encountered and three i really like its stylish design and its included accessories such as the projector screen areas that did not stand out for me are there is no electronic keystone correction and it doesn't have Bluetooth. So viewers, there you have it. 
This was my review of the PixThink M1 1080p LED projector. Thanks goes out to PixThink, part of the Vivibrite group for sending this product for review. And if you are interested in this model, you can get it below $150 using the link provided in the description below this video. Give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed the presentation. Be sure to let us know what you think about it in the comments below. If you are a first time viewer and would like to join the discussion or are interested in some more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving to be notified via your mobile phone or email as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.